What's up guys, it's your boy the May Boom and I am back for another video, Attack on Titans. Now y'all know I love Attack on Titans, I post about it every single week and I want to talk about today, the second timeline of Attack on Titans. And I just want to tell y'all how messed up this timeline is compared to the main timeline. So yes, yeah, so let's get right into this. Okay, to start it off, what is the second timeline? Because you might not know, what am I talking about? What is the second timeline? So, during the finale of Attack on Titans, we got these little flashes of a, a different timeline where Mikasa and Eren live together on this farm, and they're cutting wood and stuff, and they got animals and stuff on the farm. And this timeline is for when Mikasa... And Aaron are in um Paradise. Uh, they leave Paradise Island and go to Marley and go visit. And Mikasa and Aaron are talking about love and stuff. Mikasa, Aaron's talking about like, does Mikasa love him and stuff? If she would have chose to leave with Aaron, this is that timeline. She just leaves Aaron. She leaves with Aaron, and the rumbling does not happen. It does not happen. Aaron can't go through with it. He just ends up running away with Mikasa and just forgets everything. He forgets the war. He forgets Paradise Island. And he just lets the island handle it. So, yes, this is the second timeline. So, you don't get confused. The first timeline, you know, Aaron, he goes through with the rumbling and tries to kill everybody. But the second timeline, him and Mikasa are... They end up together, and they end up leaving everybody else. Everybody, I think everybody else was just looking for them, and Aaron's like, well, we just leave them, and hey, we'll just see what happens from there. They just gonna live life together, be happy. So, yes, that's the second timeline. Okay, so this is my first thing with the second timeline. Aaron is running away. In the original line, we know Aaron, yo. He is carrying Paradise Island on his back. He is the main thing that Marley and the outside world is afraid of. They're afraid of the attack titan. They're afraid of the founding titan. And they're afraid that he's just going to take over the world and kill everybody. But in this timeline, Aaron decides to leave with Mikasa and just goes lives on his random farm and he leaves Paradise Island. He doesn't care about the war anymore. He lets them handle that. So, Aaron is officially out of the war. What is Paradise Island supposed to do? What are they going to do? They don't have the Attack Titan and the, the Founding Titan. Those are like the two main sources of power. If they don't have that, it's over. It is over. They're going to lose. So, yes, Aaron is being a coward. It's really bad. It made Aaron, it, This version of Aaron, it makes him just selfish a little bit. It makes him a little bit selfish. He, he has a responsibility. I'm, uh, it sucks that he does have the power. It's not his fault 100%, but still, your friends are on that island. People you care about are on that island. You have to save them. You can't just sit around and not do anything about it, but... Yeah, I, I just think that's a, a really big blow. Like, the biggest blow that Paradise Island can make, maybe what I bring up later could be a bigger blow. But, yes, this one's really bad. Okay, Mikasa. In the original timeline, we know Mikasa tells Aaron, no, I'm, I don't want to be with you, I'm not, I don't want to be with you, and Aaron's sad, and then, you know, Aaron ends up going through with the rumbling and killing everybody, in this timeline, Mikasa leaves with Aaron, and I already think it's like, oh, that's so out of character, Aaron just to leave his friends behind, this one is sad, because, like, I know Mikasa will follow Aaron, she will follow Aaron, and I know she isn't, like, a, uh, controlled by Aaron, but it feels like it sometimes. I think this one hurts also. It's like she's the Ackerman. She is one of the people carrying Paradise Island on her. She was carrying Paradise Island. She's a very powerful. At least they got Levi. But Mikasa being out of it is just also a big blow. Aaron and Mikasa are both messing up Paradise Island. And I don't know. It's so out of character. I couldn't see them just leaving their friends like this to die. All of them are going to get killed. Because... Aaron and Mikasa want to pretend that everything's okay. You got to go save your friends. And yeah, it's just a heavy blow. But uh, Mikasa in the main timeline, she stops Aaron. She fights 
and she, she proves that she's not a hundred percent controlled by Aaron. She has her own path, her own destiny. She ends up getting with John, and this version of Mikasa just lives with Aaron until Aaron dies. So we don't really know what happens to Paradise Island in this second timeline. But I would assume that Paradise Island ends up getting destroyed because of Mikasa and Aaron's stupid choice to sit here and do nothing about it. So yeah, I, I think this is just a, a real sad part of this timeline. It just adds on to the many problems with the second timeline of Attack on Titan. Or it could be a vision. Maybe it's not a second timeline. It could be a vision timeline. But yeah, let's continue. Okay, so in the original timeline, you know, Mikasa and Eren are both on Paradise Island helping Armin stop Marley. And I know Eren wasn't perfect, even when he was helping them. He used to go do his own thing and fight Marley on his own, but still, he was there. This version of Eren in the second timeline is not helping. And this version of Mikasa in the second timeline is not helping. They do not care what happens to their friends, but... Now, more of the responsibility will be on Armin. You know, Armin doesn't like to have to make these decisions. He's already afraid to do half of the stuff. He is kind of a coward sometimes. And Aaron and uh, Mikasa both not being there, that is scary to think that somebody that just got the position of being like the leader of Paradise Island now has to be even more in that position. Now, he has to really make tough decisions. At least he has Hanji there, but it's still pretty scary and now he has to rely way more on his colossal titan than he did before it was more like okay, okay aaron's there to help but now it's arm and army he has to use his colossal titan all the time i think he's the only titan shifter now on paradise Island since aaron left it's only him so he's gonna have to be the biggest part of the attacks now but at least he's super powerful the colossal titan is a powerful titan it can destroy, you know, a bunch of stuff. It can nuke, like, uh, uh, part of Marley and stuff. It, 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 Mar Armin does have a lot of power. And it, it, it will be a way darker storyline of seeing him just have to make tougher decisions. And he ain't got Aaron there no more to help him make those tough decisions. So, yeah, I think this is actually really interesting. And I would love to see if this ever happened. Maybe they'll produce something like this to show Armin have to make these tough decisions in the second timeline but yeah that's just messed up though that somebody that doesn't want to have to do that stuff has to make tough decisions okay so in the original timeline of the show because you know i just got to compare the original to the second timeline in the original timeline of the show aaron found a way to kill off the founding titans worm and the worm removed the titan shifters 13 year rule the the titan shifters removed the 13 year rule so all the titan shifters don't have their titans anymore and they get to live for 13 years but now in this second timeline since aaron doesn't want to do anything and gives up now after 13 years all our favorite characters will die armin will die me uh aaron died we seen that scene aaron died and his 13 years was up then you got Annie would die. She would come out of her crystal, die. Peak will die. Porco will die. B Zeke will die. All of these characters will end up passing on because Aaron doesn't remove the 13-year rule. And Aaron, in the original timeline, he wanted to save at least his friends. But in this timeline, he doesn't care. He's not going to try to save everybody. All he cares about is this, this few couple years or months with Mikasa that's all he cares about in um, the second timeline of Attack on Titans but that's just really messed up that Armin has to die because Eren doesn't want to try at least just try to do something he could at least do a partial rumbling or just scare the other side of the world just to help Armin in Paradise Island but he's choosing not to do anything he doesn't have to kill everybody just do a partial rumbling just to scare them away. Let them just be afraid for a couple years. And then they can just destroy everything. Because that's what they end up doing anyways. But yeah, Aaron really is messing it up for everybody. So all the Titan Shifters are eventually going to die. And that's just very dark.
Okay, so in the original timeline, Gabby and Falco both turned to the good side. They realized that Paradise Island and Marley, the outside world, were both the same. They just are victims, and it's just a cycle of hatred and pain and suffering. So Gabby went on a whole arc to realize, like, both sides are the same. And she turned into a good person, and she ends up saving the world with Paradise Island. And it's a good little storyline. Falco was always kind of good, but he still was on the side of Marley. So in the first timeline, they both end up turning good and saving the world and becoming... They love Paradise Island. They love everybody. But in the second timeline, since Aaron and... These characters don't come and pick up Gabby and Falco and send them to Paradise Island and stuff like that. These characters will stay exactly the same. Gabby will probably be really hateful towards Paradise Island. She will go crazy. She she don't know anything. So she will just listen to what the Paradise with Marley tells her and just kill Paradise Island and kill the people and just do whatever she wants and she might turn into a super crazy villain she might be like the worst villain for Paradise Island so yeah it's just really sad that Falco and Gabby would go down this path they could have been like they were good characters they turned into good people and it was so satisfying seeing Gabby turn to the good side and learn that being that hateful is not a good thing so yeah this second timeline is just messing up everybody In the original timeline, like I said, Aaron found a way to remove the 13-year rule from all the Titan Shifters. And he got rid of all the Titan abilities from all the Titan Shifters. But in this timeline, Aaron is giving up, living with Mikasa, and doesn't care about anything anymore. So, once Aaron passes on, he is putting the burden of the Founding Titan and the Attack Titan onto somebody else. And... Since Aaron doesn't want to save any of his friends with the Titan Shifter abilities in a 13-year rule, Aaron also will put the burden on to other people to carry those Titans also. So people now have to worry about, like, some people could cut their finger and then, like, end up blowing up their house and killing their family. It's like, Aaron, you are putting people in a very tough place position and then the cycle is just going to continue and continue with Marley or Paradise Island going after these people because they don't even know they have these abilities it's just crazy to think about if somebody has to carry the founding titan what if it's Marley they might end up using the founding titan on Paradise Island or something like that it's just crazy to think about Aaron is not thinking and like I said this just seems so out of character for Aaron it's like he will be smarter than this to just let the founding titan end up back in Marley's hand and Paradise Island being destroyed and then his friends end up getting killed and Mikasa's like she will be just as smart to know this is wrong we need to go help our friends and figure out how to remove the 13 year rule from the titan shifters I, it's sad though that some future generation of kids would have to go go through this and it might be Historia's baby it could have been Historia's baby that ends up becoming one of the Titan Shifters if this timeline works out this way. Flock. Flock is my, one of my favorite characters. I just love his, his, like, usually with bad guys, they write him to, uh, where they look like idiots and like goofballs and stuff and they don't make no sense it's like why would you think like that and they just act evil just to be evil and then they end up getting a cruel brutal death flock he did get a cruel brutal death and he looked like a goofball sometimes but when he spoke it really they wrote his character like yo i could believe in what flock is saying he ain't a coward he actually believes what he's talking about because most villains in shows they write him like they act like they believe in what they're talking about, but they really don't. They end up being run. They run away and act like cowards and stuff. But Flock is a whole different character. He's a great character, but he's still very uh, reckless. He's very reckless. He he does crazy stuff just to get what he wants. And Flock will try to take control. If Flock is one of the faces of Paradise Island, man. They are going to get destroyed. That man is reckless. He doesn't care about his soldiers. 
he he does care about his soldiers, but he doesn't care about their safety during the fights and stuff. He's going to end up getting everybody killed, and he's going to get himself killed. He's just too reckless and angry and crazy, and he kills people without even, like, thinking sometimes. He's just a crazy character, and I do not want to see him defending Paradise Island against Marley. He will end up getting a lot of soldiers killed, and we've seen it kind of at the end of Attack on Titans, the original timeline. Somebody's taking over the Jaegerus and just spreading hate and like hatred and stuff. And Flock is also going to continue that hate and like racist stuff against Marley and stuff. It, it just would be crazy. Flock should not be running anything, even though he is a great character. Probably my favorite character from Attack on Titans. It's great storyline, but he, yeah, he's just crazy though, very reckless. Okay, so in the original timeline, you know, Aaron was there to help Paradise Island. Mikasa's there to help Paradise Island. So they were able to hold off Marley for a long time. They were able to hold them off for a minute. But now that Aaron and Mikasa are out of it and the 13 rule will eventually wrap up and Marley could possibly end up getting the Titan abilities and stuff, Paradise Island's losing. Paradise Island is losing, first of all, Marley has the Beast Titan, the Jaw Titan, the uh, potentially the Founding in the Attack Titan. They got the Warhammer Titan. They got the Armor Titan. They got the Cart Titan. They have so many Titan shifters right now. That's crazy. Second thing, the technology is improving. We've seen the technology. They were able to shoot through the Beast Titan, the Armor Titan. They were going in. They had crazy technology. And Paradise Island, since Aaron's gone, Armin has the colossal titan but the colossal titan can't even be around that long and then levi's just a man even though he's a uh, really strong he's just a guy so i can't see paradise island winning it's sad to say i they would get destroyed man they would get destroyed Par marley's gonna just shoot cannons at paradise island get them destroyed the Survey Corps, they would they would put up a good fight, but in, it would end up being bad. Levi would kill a few, the, few of the Titan Shifters. He would kill a few of them. I'm not even going to lie to you, but it still would become overwhelming, and then it's over. It will be over. And then Armin, those cannons would really do damage to the Colossal Titan. That's the first thing. And then Armin couldn't stay in his Titan form for too long. Then they would get Annie also, and then they could have the female Titan also with them. So, yes. Marley would just take over and just do damage to Paradise Island because Aaron isn't there and Mikasa isn't there. It's just sad to say, but that's my opinion on that. It's sad to say there just isn't no perfect ending to Attack on Titan. Something's always going to go wrong. Characters are always going to get killed off. Marley sometimes is going to win. Somebody from Paradise Island is going to win, but not everybody's going to make it out alive. It, it's just sad. I'm taking the original timeline over the second timeline, but I don't like the original timeline either because Aaron had to sacrifice himself to save everybody, and then the rumbling is just so horrible, and then Hanji had to die and stuff like that. Levi is, like, broken down. He has to be in a wheelchair and stuff. And then the second timeline... Everybody dies. At least Mikasa, I guess, is alive. She can live. Levi, maybe he can escape with some Paradise Island people. Uh, Armin, I think he's dead. Especially because he has the 13-year rule. Yeah, he's 100% dead. And, uh, yeah, it just it wouldn't be a good outcome. Maybe Zeke would help Paradise Island because, he, you know, he wants to do the, uh, the pl his plan, but... Hey man, he might change. He might change his mind because it's it's no point. Paradise Island is just gonna lose anyways. It's no point to even fighting Marley in the whole world. This isn't even just Marley. This is like the whole world trying to go after Paradise Island. Aaron knew that the uh, Paradise Island was gonna eventually be destroyed anyways. It ended up happening even in the original timeline. Paradise Island ends up getting destroyed. So we never knows what we never will know what happens. Bad stuff will happen. People, kids will have to inherit Titan Shifters that they really don't want. Gabby will stay evil. Aaron will die. Armin will die. Reiner will die. All these characters will die. You got Sasha, Coney, John. All those characters will die. Annie will come back just to die off after the 13 years. She might have already 
done like majority of her years and stuff it, it's just crazy but peace out y'all tell me how y'all feel about this video and i'll see y'all in the next video anime boom my peace